So this is our eighth annual Raspberry Pi competition. Of course, everything's a bit different this year, but the entries we've had from all the participants have been so ingenious and the teams have worked so hard to put their projects together. We really want to recognize the work that they've done. So this year, we're hosting the awards virtually. The theme for our competition this year is the sustainable city of tomorrow. Our idea is so that you can use your home applications with reusable energy. Our project is a modular system, which means that it can be added to and expanded. Let us introduce you to our amazing innovation, Smart Room Plus. It's been incredible to see what they've come up with this year. The sorts of ideas, the sorts of insights they've got into the cities of the future. It's really encouraging to see what the youngsters have in mind that are going to really make a difference to the worlds that they will live in going forward. The pump is attached to this set of batteries over here, which is through a relay, so we are able to control it safely without damaging the pie. So it's been a real privilege for us to judge the PA Raspberry Pi competition this year in 2020. We've been really thrilled at the ingenuity shown by all of the entrants. We believe in the power of ingenuity to create a positive human future in a technology driven world. And we see the importance of the next generation valuing that, seeing the contribution they can make. And we want to encourage that confidence and passion in the next generation. The idea is that our Raspberry Pi will recognise what items have been bought and note when they need to be used so that they don't get thrown out. Our product is a cutting edge new infrared sensor and GPS which helps all type of people to locate lost and needed items. Britain has a long history of being leaders in innovation uh, in all sorts of technologies and fields across the world. So to encourage it in our younger generations is vital for the sustainable future of our science and engineering. It's been great to see both the inventiveness and the application of some of the technology, but also the focus on the commercial application. I think that will stand us in good stead to have a group of new inventors coming through the schools right now. For our project, we've created a Bluetooth-enabled wireless air pollution detector. Not only will it help prevent knife crime, but it will help people who suffer from injuries as it will have basic first aid. A lightweight, portable system that allows you to check lifestyle tips, evaluate chronic conditions and search for symptoms. I'd also like to say a really big thank you to the judges who've taken part each year. We really value the support that they provide to us and it's fantastic that they're able to support us with the virtual judging we're having to do this year. As judges we had a really hard time picking a winner this year. All three teams put forward really great proposals looking at renewable energy, at behavioural change and at energy efficiency. So Ivy Pie empowers from the Croydon High School uh, great to see the work you've been doing, helping people think about how they can use energy demanding appliances in their homes at the right times based on their renewable energy storage. The School of Pi at St Mary's School Horsham. I loved your Pi desk. Super to understand how schools can be in competition with each other to show how effectively they're developing renewable energy usage, managing their routes to school and uh, managing their school environments to be greener. And Dynamics from Isgold Bidanwi, a really super prototype showing how we can think about an emerging traffic safety problem, how do pedestrians cope with the challenge of living in a world with silent cars. But we did have to pick a winner. And so this year, in the year's four to six category, the winner of the competition is the School of Pi from St Mary's School Horsham. Congratulations. The judges felt that their passion their, the comprehensiveness of the technical skills that they demonstrated, really how that empowers the next generation of those ingenious uh, inventors and entrepreneurs to think about how to live cleaner, greener and more energy efficient lives. In this category, we had four finalists. All of the projects were of a very high standard. Team Tempest from Reading School had a project for protecting the environment by air quality monitoring. And they produced a device that would test a, a number of different aspects of air quality. 
and send that back to a server providing a user with, with quite detailed information about the air quality in that location. The AQI guys uh, from the Bedford School uh, had a, a device for monitoring the air quality at a given location. It was a very well thought out project. We particularly thought the user interface using uh, heat mapping in, in Google Maps was a really clever um, and useful way of presenting the output. The light bulb from Haberdashers Asks Hatcham College um, was encouraging self-sufficiency and biodiversity. The device that they created was an automatic uh, plant watering system in a, in a greenhouse. We particularly liked the, the, the scope of the challenge and the way they addressed it by using captured rainwater. Plant Pie from St. John's School um, was looking at improving efficiency of plant management. And we really liked this project. Uh, in particular, there was a, a, the submission was fantastic. It was very well structured, really clear, well written, fantastic video, um, very clearly demonstrating the effectiveness of the device and how well it worked. We, we thought they did a really great job. Uh, we were really impressed with every one of them. And the winner is Team Tempest from the Reading School. What we really liked most about the Team Tempest project was the really holistic approach to the challenge that they took. The way that data was presented, the user interface was fantastic, and I particularly liked that it was solar powered. We saw some incredible ideas uh, in this category, getting to grips with real issues like sustainable urban living, uh, item tracking and food waste. Liverpool Blue Coat School showed a great vision, great holistic engineering concepts, bringing a number of good ideas together for a sustainable tower block. Showed a lot of hard work and a great focus on what the future ought to look like. Longridge Tower School sh showed us a great, simple, sustainable future concept with kitchen vision. Uh, it was well thought through highly technical and you pulled on a lot of technical fields that are very much at the cutting edge at the moment such as machine learning and visual image classifiers. Lady Eleanor Hollis showed us great team working, highly polished presentation, really well thought through on paper their concept with a, a very interesting approach to waste management and sustainable products for the future. It was a really tough decision, a really close race, because they were all such amazing concepts and such hard work had been put into them. Um, but the winner of this category is Kitchen Vision by Long Ridge School. The winner showed uh, that they understood the theme very well and provided us with a simple concept with a lot of hard technical work underneath it with reflecting on cutting edge technologies such as neural networks and image classifiers, um, along with you know, a very relevant topic about food waste. All the judges have been really impressed with the quality of the entries. The first project was from the Purple Hand Gang, which was the alert system. So this focused on a crime reporting and first aid system to combat knife incidents and to su provide support in the community. For Team Mango, we as judges, we really like this application. It was the My Little Doctor application. And what we really liked about it was the way that the team had linked it out to different sources of information, how they thought about the, the future proofing again, and uh, the real opportunities this would bring to the community to avoid people having to visit doctors or hospitals unnecessarily. So for Team Tango, this is the development of a pollution detector and what the judges really liked about this was the way that the team had taken the concept and the idea, purchased very low cost items and come up with something, a really viable product that they were able to link to the mapping technology to show, to show the pollution in various parts of London. And finally for Team Parking is, what we were really impressed about this as judges was the way that the team thought about the benefits that this would have on the emissions and the time saving around parking your vehicle. And it's been a really tough decision as we've been through each of the individual projects, but there has to be a winner. And the winner is Team Tango from Dame Alice Owen School. What really impressed the judges about this team was the, the passion, 
the level of detail that they went into thinking about the the prototype of the system and some of the future proofing that would be possible for later versions of the application. Brilliant work, superb solutions are being put forward. The competition goes from strength to strength and this is one of the best years yet. I want to say a really big thank you and well done to all the teams that have entered. I think you can all be really proud of what you've achieved. The type of thinking and the projects that you've delivered are exactly what we're going to need if we're going to create a more sustainable future.